And today we're going to be talking about how to winterize your hose bibs. It's a few simple steps, so follow along. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that some valves might look different depending on where you live. Please consult with the customer care department if you have any questions or concerns. Before you start, make sure you don't have anything such as a hose attached to the hose bib or faucet. Removing them should be done before any other step is performed. First locate your hose bib shutoff valve. Depending on your floor plan, it could be located in the basement, the garage, or the utility room. You would have been shown the location by your project manager during your new home orientation. There are two basic types of valves, those with bleeder caps and those without. Depending on what you have will determine the steps you need to take. Those with a bleeder cap can be winterized with either method. First, I'm gonna show you the steps when the bleeder cap is present. To begin, place the valve in the closed position. This could be done by moving the lever perpendicular to the pipe or twisting the knob clockwise. Just don't over tighten it and make sure you support the pipe with your other hand. Next, we're gonna to go to the exterior of your home and turn on the water. Don't be surprised if nothing comes out. Return to the shutoff valve and place a small bucket and towel underneath it. Slowly twist the cap until you can see water or you hear a hissing sound. Leave the bleeder open until it stops. Once that happens, twist the cap closed. Return to the hose bib and close the valve. You are now finished and you can leave the valve closed until you're ready to open them back up in the spring when temperatures are consistently above freezing. If you don't have a bleeder cap, then winterizing your hose bib is just as easy, but the steps are a little bit different. I will show you how to use this on the same valve. First, place a bucket underneath the hose bib and turn it fully on. Next, go to the shutoff valve and slowly turn it off. Since water was flowing, there shouldn't be a vacuum in the line and all the water should have drained out. This method is best performed with two people, but can be done alone. Return to the hose bib and close the valve. You are now finished and you can leave the valve closed until you're ready to open them back up in the spring when temperatures are consistently above freezing. As an added layer of protection in colder areas, we recommend you use a standard outdoor faucet cover, which can be purchased for a few dollars at your local hardware store. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out some of our other how-to videos.